Hey everyone, welcome again to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to run an older game called Batman Vengeance on a Windows 10 machine. Uh, this is an older game that, you know, obviously does not uh, play well with Windows 10 natively. Uh, if you have the Euro Premium version, uh, you can get it to run uh, decently on your computer. As far as I've seen on mine, it will not give you the option to brighten the game up. Uh, if you do slide the brightness control, you know, either left or right, it does not make any difference in the game. And you also cannot go uh, full screen correctly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get all those programs fixed. Now, best case scenario, the best version of this game that you can have, I found out, is the European version. So if you can find that one online, you're uh, all the better. You'll be able to play with the uh, image mounted. You won't need the uh, an OCD patch for it. So if you can find that version, uh, you will know the better. If you have the U.S. version, you will need to find a uh, no CD patch for it because it will not run even with the uh, disc, you know, mounted. Uh, so if you're interested in giving this a shot, go ahead and open up your browsers. We're going to visit three sites here. Uh, the DigiVoodoo one is not, uh, you know, mandatory, but like I said, you won't be able to, uh, at least on my machine, I wasn't able to change the brightness. So I recommend you get the DigiVoodoo 2 also. Uh, so first one up, we're going to get the white screen uh, fix here for the game. So we're going to go ahead and click on this file here. We're going to download that to your system. Once you're done with that one, we're also going to need the uh, 13 AG's Ultimate ASI Loader. So to get that one, we're going to travel to this website. This is uh, going to be in the uh, comment section so you can uh, download or the details section so you can download the files. So on this page here, we're going to travel down a little bit and you're going to get this winmm.dll. You'll need that one in order for the uh, loader to uh, properly work with the widescreen patch. And then, like I said, DG Voodoo 2, you may already know how to use this. Uh, you may not, uh, depending on, you know, the videos that you've seen here. But go ahead and get this if you do not have it. And just extract that anywhere on your machine. We're going to need some files out of there. So what you do is uh, click on the download spot right here. And we're going to travel down here to, it looks like they changed the way this looks a little bit here. So click on Downloads. And we're going to click on the latest version, which is 2.86.1. So go ahead and download that, put that somewhere on your computer. Once you've done with that, we can go ahead and uh, close your browser. We're going to navigate to the folder where the, uh, you know, we already have the game installed and also to the folder that has the files that you need to use for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So if you've got the zip files, so the files are going to look like this. So just go ahead and unzip those to their own folder. And as you can see, that's my ISO image there, and it is mounted. Uh, this is the install folder. So what we're going to do once we have that done, we are going to go ahead and take these files from in here, just copy these two, and we're going to paste them inside the other uh, directory of the game. So go ahead and do that. Once that is done, let's go in here and get the uh, WinMM file that we downloaded. So all we need is that one right there. So copy that. Paste that down here. Now, if you've used DG Voodoo in the past, we've always used the, uh, you know, the DG Voodoo to set the resolutions. This go around with this game, we do not need to do that. So kind of pay close attention to this because it is a little bit different. So let's go in here to the DG Voodoo. We're going to copy the files from here. And really all you need, just do this, copy the MS, these three here, copy those, paste them inside the folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and get uh, the files out of the x86 folder, so copy those, paste that inside the game directory. And before we launch, we want to go inside the game, uh, the, the INI here for the uh, widescreen fix. So double click on that and you're going to set your resolution here. So right now I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. So go ahead and make the changes on there to whatever resolution you want. And we're going to go ahead and click uh, File Save. And it should save the file with the, uh, you know, with the uh, correct width and height that you put on there. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead, like I said, save it and close that out. Now, 
right click on the DG Voodoo executable, go to properties, compatibility, and set that to run as administrator so we don't have any issues with it saving uh, settings. So right click on that or left click, uh, run this program as administrator, go ahead and click apply. And you can click OK to close out of that. And it looks like we have everything set. Now we're going to go into the DG Voodoo. We're going to go to a certain spot on here. And it did do this to me yesterday when I was doing it the second time. So let's go ahead and for the hell of it, let's go ahead and launch the game and see if that corrects the issue with the DG Voodoo not launching. Or matter of fact, right click on DG Voodoo. We're going to change the properties here. Go ahead and set this to Service Pack 3. Click Apply. We're going to try launching the DG Voodoo again. Right click, run as administrator. Okay, so let's just bypass this for now. Let's go ahead and launch the game. See, DG Voodoo is working for some reason. The uh, image didn't come out so maybe with that alone we'll be able to change the brightness without any issues so we're going to go ahead into the game here and make sure that this is uh, showing widescreen correctly so let's go ahead to options we're going to go to brightness and make sure that we can change the brightness there we go brightness is working so you do not need the dg voodoo to load it just needs to be uh you know have the files in the game folder now, one thing with this, on some computers, depending on the type of joystick you have, uh, these settings here might go uh, kind of crazy for you if you try to do it left and right with your joystick. If you have that issue, just use the you know left and right uh, directional arrows, or arrows on your keyboard, and you'll be able to do it like this instead of doing it with the joystick. So go ahead and pick the brightness that you want. Just go ahead and hit Enter. The resolution we're going to leave alone because we already set that through the... Uh, you know, the widescreen patch. So once we go and start the game, the game should display for us properly. So we can just exit right out of the movie. And the brightness came up again. So just go ahead and if it does that, you just go ahead and change it right there on the fly. And as you can see, the game has been uh, activated in full screen. It is not a uh, what they call the stretch screen. It is the correct aspect ratio. So the game does look nice and it runs uh, really good with these uh, settings that I got on here. Now, if you don't like the uh, joystick settings, you can just always exit out, go back to the, uh, you know, your settings on the main screen. And you should be able to change your settings. So just go to this disk image on here. And you can just shoot over to control and change the settings on here. And you need to pick gamepad, of course. So once you've done that, and then you have the anti-lacing options here. So go ahead, once you change the uh, settings on your joystick that you're comfortable with, you can just go ahead and back out. You can activate the shadows, those are on already brightness we did you can go ahead and do the anti lacing here also that is on and once you have those options set you can just go ahead and exit back out of here you want to hit enter to actually activate the change so we'll make those sh sure those stayed on all right now we can go ahead and exit and you can run the game with no issues at all so as you can see that is working fine i did change the uh you know, the jump button to the uh, A button on the pad. That is working flawlessly. So with that said, that is the end of this video. Go ahead and join, uh, enjoy that game if you haven't played it before or if you had it and could never play it on Windows 10. You should be able to go with the settings I just showed you. So that is it for this one. If you guys enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. And please, if you not have subscribed yet, please do so. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a great day.